I'm the number one leasing company in Australia for acts when they come to the United States. Um, from what I understand, uh, the feedback that I've gotten from management companies over there that are pretty large, um, the Russell Coach Company is who you want to ride with when you're in the States. Um, Russell Coach Works, um, it's such a unique and different animal. Um, the private individual, they may call, they don't want you to leave their phone number, they've gotten all your information off, off your website, they just really don't want to be bothered. It's, it's a unique way to court a customer <laughs> that, that, that has a lot of money. Um, the dealership is kind of the same way. For the, for the leasing side, it's always been word of mouth. And, and the internet is just a tool to find out more about me. The conversion side, the internet is how I get it out there. Mm -hmm. they, what's the scope of your customers? What, what area do you serve? Uh, we serve Knoxville and the surrounding counties. Uh, I'd have to say most of our customers come from either the Yellow Pages, radio, or referrals. Uh, we do have a spot on our Pest Pack software to ask where they heard about us. Uh, the un only unfortunate thing is because we're across the board, sometimes they can't really pinpoint where they heard about us. Uh, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's the Yellow Pages, maybe it's radio, TV, or whatever. We, I will say we tried some different things last year, um, uh, B97, easy listening, because it hit a de demographic and didn't do too well. And my thinking is if it's easy listening, they're not listening. And so we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> And I love talk radio and even the sports, but we try to gear more towards away from sports because we're trying to target more women. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, and one thing about the technology I forgot is we have GPS on all of our trucks, and some of the main benefits right now have been slowing our guys down. And if people don't want to pay, we can prove we were at their house and we sent somebody. You know, we were there certain times for a certain length of time, and even a picture of our truck in their driveway. And um, mm -hmm. so, anyway. And I ask those questions because, you know, I wanted to get the point across that, you know, just because you're a business located in Knoxville doesn't mean that you can't have broad reach, that you can't find customers other and deliver service there, particularly because of technology, because I knew Rob did that. And then the other thing uh, from, from Dayton's perspective, you know, a lot of people think that the only way to grow their business is to expand it into different markets where you can't expand your business in the same marketplace if you des deliver good customer service. So those are kind of two contrasting approaches to business. Rob will do business wherever the call is, and Dayton tries to stay in, in, a, in a central location because of the kind of business they deliver. Dayton. And speaking of broad reach, on April the 23rd, a Thursday from 8 a.m. to 12.30, right here in Knoxville at the Sarah Simpson Professional Development Technology Center, you're all invited to a great event, expanding your business into exporting and international trade. And that could include the internet, by the way, because when you get inquiries from Australia and you are essentially doing business with them, that is a form of export. And we're gonna have people here from the Export-Import Bank and the Office of uh, Private Investment, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, or OPIC, as well as the SBA International Trade people. And Larry Rossini will be there as well on April the 23rd. That's a Thursday again. And also August the 4th, we're having our third annual veterans event at Oak Ridge. And so uh, hopefully you'll be reading about that on the various websites. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. And thank you guys again for being here.